Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to take fucked up headlights like these, obviously sprayed with the raw material, a material called, or otherwise known as 2K Clear, and turn them into something like this. Beautiful. And I'm also going to be going into the fact that there are so many different 2K Clears, and why this one is one that I haven't showed you yet, and what the difference is. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. For instance, tomorrow morning I'll get up nice and early, take a walk down over to the bank and walk in and see, and uh, if you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your f***ing head wide open. Let's get down to business. This is a 2012 Infiniti G37S Type. Uh, race down with a lot of extras on it. I did a, a bunch of stuff on this vehicle. We'll get into that uh, in a minute. But uh, as you see here, it's all spotted and patchy and looks weird. And the clear, the existing clear that's on there um, looks all like, uh, I don't know, shimmery or weird looking like that. Um, that is the effect of refracting um, you know it's um, it's an element of uh, pretty much in layman's terms uh, light being reflected in different ways okay the light isn't just passing through the substance like if you hold up a piece of glass you see like it's just clear and flawless there's no uh, little ripples or nothing like that that is what happens when you use something that's not designed for headlights in the beginning this probably didn't look like that but through um, you know, uh, you know, the sun and oxidation and stuff like that, it brings out other characteristics or makes them more prominent sometimes. Uh, and what was going on with this light is when it had a full, it probably has a better, um, light output right now with some of the shit that's fallen off of the headlight versus when the whole headlight was brand new okay because it was sprayed obviously with a substance that is not designed for headlights um if you ever spray something on a headlight and it has that weird shimmering clown mirror look okay that uh, that i just showed you right there that looked like it had like ripples or like weird stuff the light hit it weird like right here you can kind of see it in there whatever um uh, oh yeah, right here like this, you see those, those are little, um, telltale signs that somebody restored the light as well. Uh, you can see, of course, when people restore these lights, uh, you can, uh, see leftover scratching and stuff like that because they're using the coating to cover that stuff up. Plus they're using, uh, you know, uh, the buffed up headlight or the scratched up headlight when it's white to spray. <laughs> Yeah, 2K clear. That's why you'll never see somebody using 2K clear normally uh, spraying a headlight that is crystal clear or a headlight that is, uh, you know, at its clearest point, like when you're using a certified headlight product, because it's hard to make this stuff stick and they don't want it to peel off like this the next day. OK, uh, so they spray it when it's white, as you know, and as you've seen dozens of times on all over the Internet that people like to do it this way, which is highly incorrect for one you're uh you're hindering your headlight output and your you know optical clarity by far when you're doing that for two you're already using something that's not optically clear so that's a double down on that so you're losing when you do a headlight this way you're you're just off top no matter what 2k clear it is you're you're losing automatically you're losing like i don't know at least 30 yards of light anywhere between 30 and 50 around that yards of light now regular headlight regular headlights factory headlights are designed to project about a hundred yards so you're talking about like a half or a third of your headlight output I mean, it's not that bad. It's, it's, who cares? You know, this and that. But no, it's, it's even worse than what you think because the headlights are designed to, uh, shine straight through, uh, kind of like in a straight line. Okay. To light up the road ahead of you. Now, when you have the shit on here and you have the refracting going on, the light scatters everywhere. It's going backwards. You know, it can be going backwards on your windshield. It's going to the side. It's going this way. It's going that way. It's going up and down. And so um, that's part of the reason why you're losing that light, because that light is going in different directions instead of straight ahead. Um, 
With that being said, uh, this light, of course, took a little bit longer. It took about 39 minutes for this light, so I'm speeding it up a little bit in certain spots just to, uh, you know, for the sake of your viewing. I don't want you to sit there and watch me scrape this light all day. But as you see, um, I use a really sharp knife, really sharp, sturdy knife and parts that I can. And with something like this that has such a rounded uh, area, something like this you would want to use a double stuff on or whatever. But something like this, um, I use a credit card hard to get underneath there just firm pressure and push and it pops right up now that there shows you how shitty 2k clear adheres to lights no matter what you do okay this person did a halfway decent job as you can see um it's just they use the shitty product of what you're not supposed to put in your headlight um why on that topic we're going to go into the differences of 2k clears um uh, I haven't talked about 2K Clear in a while, okay? It is an awesome product when used for what it is designed for. There's so many different 2K Clears. There's hobbyist 2K Clear, like uh, some of the stuff that comes with the Krylon. There's, um, there's automotive 2K Clear, which is like designed for uh, adhering to paint on clear coat and automotive pieces. Um, you know, there's, you know, half a dozen to, you know, a dozen uh, different, you know, categories of 2K Clear. They're all basically the same. They're just designed for different purposes. Uh, not one of them really is designed for headlights. Okay, let me tell you that. Like I've said in other videos, um, there's only one, if you, if you Google search, 2k clear for headlights only one of them is going to come up and that's a fucking scam that shit is the same thing as the other version that they make of 2k clear with the pop red top um it's the same exact thing it just has a little different uh, uh formula okay it's a little bit more uv protected in it uh anything with that pop top or anything with those hardeners should not ever touch a headlight okay um, those are the worst ones. When I say the, the queen mother, the bitch, the, 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 they're all fucked up to work with, okay? And they're all fucked up to have on your headlights. Those ones are the worst because those hardeners will, um, you know, eat into your headlight. Those hardeners will uh, do all kind of drastic things to your headlights and cause extreme permanent damage in the long run. Um... So, uh, you don't want to use any headlight with a hardener, okay? Some of the cans will have that pop top or something like that of hardener in it. And, um, and the thing is, the reason why you would know is because once it's mixed, that can is no good. You only have a certain amount of time before the stuff starts hardening in the can or starts, uh, uh, you know, dissolving or losing its, um, expected usage, okay? And it will tell you on the instructions. It'll be like, you have this much time before this can is no good once you pop that top, okay? The other one that's similar to that is when people mix it themselves. Like, if you go to a body shop and they're doing headlights or something, right? Which, um, a lot of them have troubles doing too, okay? Believe it or not. Because they want to just spray the fucking clear coat on everything. Because that's what they know. They they spray the vehicle clear coat on everything, which is not correct either. Uh, from the factory, it is not vehicle clear coat that's on headlights, okay? Vehicle clear coat is not nowhere near. On a scale of 1 to 10 of uh, UV coating or, or UV protective in coatings or whatnot, a clear coat just on top, that's just one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons. A clear coat typically doesn't have that much UV protection. It's not designed to UV protect something underneath it so much. It's more designed to make something glossy, okay? That's all it's designed for is protection and uh, to make it glossy, not UV protection, okay? Which is different. Headlights need an exacerbated amount of UV protection because the polycarbonate tarnishes so easy in the sunlight okay so on a scale of one to ten um, um a vehicle clear coat probably has like a three or four okay any headlight product is gonna have like a seven eight or nine or ten okay um as far as uv that's why when you look at it it has that a proper headlight coating will have that um 
rainbow sheerness to it, that rainbow mirror sheer to it, okay? Because it is reflecting light. That's what you're seeing, okay? And um, the, the actual light that destroys Havites is invisible, okay? The UVs or whatever are invisible, but they are accompanied with the visible stream of light. So when you see those rainbows in the headlight and stuff like that, that means all of those are being deflected, almost like if you shine a light in a mirror, it bounces back, right? So anyhow, um, those 2K clears um, are not designed for headlights. Um, so let me backtrack again. So the, any kind of can with a pop top hardener, do not use. Okay, that's not what's on here. Um, or any kind of um, spray gun type of clear coat. Um, you shouldn't be using, but if you are using, you can gauge how much hardener you put in there. But here's the thing. How do you know? Most people don't know. All right. They don't know. They're like, okay, they're at home. They bought a little spray gun. They don't know how much hardener to put in, um, to not, you know, make that effect happen where it's overly hard for the headlight and it starts destroying the headlight doing other things like that. Okay. Which makes it even more extremely hard to get off the headlight as well, which presents a high level of danger. The more you have to grind and do all that shit makes it more dangerous for um, a headlight restoration where you can cause damage to the headlight and or the vehicle. But let me stop right here. Let me show you this. I uh, stopped the little fast forward to show you this. This one is not the hard one. As you see, I'm using P500s for this light, okay? They're not the hardener ones. This one right here, more than likely, was an automotive 2K clear. Okay, an automotive 2K clear in a can that uh, had no hardeners in it. Okay, the, this one is the least harmful one for your headlights. Okay, so I give whoever did that points for that. Uh, none of them belong in a headlight. Okay, none of them have my approval. None of them has anybody approval. It doesn't have Google approval because you Google that shit. No 2K clear for headlight will come up except for one bullshit one. That is, it's, it's almost a scam. All right, but did you see how much that milked up? It looks different than every headlight I've done before, right? It looks different than most of the headlights I've done before. You see how much it milked up and it was just certain spots. And it wasn't even the whole thing. It was just spotted right there. So certain, all that snow came from these little patches of stuff that I'm removing. Part of that is because the vehicle grade 2K clear, okay, or 2K clear in general, is extremely thick, okay? It's extremely thick. Uh, it's, um, in a sense, it's almost like uh, the density of it is extremely different. Um, right here, I'm about to, uh, sidebar right here, I'm about to uh, show you there. These are the ones I like. These are the ones on my um bio right here these uh pals or whatever they're called right uh these are the best ones that come individually wrapped you get about five or six per order uh, and they're fairly inexpensive um so I, I always keep a couple bags of these on hand uh, obviously this light uh, is so rounded it's going to need a or it's preferred to use the double stuff method okay so with that being said the density level of 2K is too much for headlights, okay? It's very good for a car. That's the main part of protection that comes from it when you use it on a clear coat um, or, or for a paint, a painted surface vehicle, right, as a clear coat. Um, you see how milky this is and how much I had to grind, even with the P500. So it's just using P500. So I'm not using nothing crazy on this light, right? Because the stuff is soft, okay? It's soft like a regular uh, clear coat or a regular headlight clear coat should be. But it is far too dense. And uh, scientifically, if you don't know what that means, it just means the hardness of something. Like you can have um, a pillow the same size of, let's see, uh, the same piece of pillow, let's say if it's a foot by foot or something, right? Pillow, right? Uh, uh, a block of pillow. And then you have a, you know, the same thing of iron or gold, okay? These are all gonna be different densities, right? It's gonna be like, whoa, this pillow is so soft, so light, so, you know, spongy, and then you have that iron and be like, shit, it's a billion times heavier and it's a billion times harder because the density is different. The molecules are adhering to each other different. There's more of them in one spot than the other. 
So that's what I mean by density. The density of this uh, 2K clear is so thick, it's crazy. Just dust everywhere. It's so much, it's just snowing everywhere. And as you see right here, look at this. As I'm getting to the polycarbonate of the G37, uh, you can see um, that it's not milking up that much anymore, right? It's all that shit, all that 2K clear, all right? It's too dense. And that's part of the reason why it is not really transparent, okay? It's translucent, which is different, okay? Um, it's not it's not photo transparent. It's not optically transparent, meaning the light passes through, okay? Um, enough. Be, that's part of the reason, one of the big reasons, because it's so dense, it just scatters light everywhere. It literally, you know, these 2K clears will literally throw light back inside of the light, okay <laughs> literally it'll throw light back inside of the light it'll throw light sideways there's no telling where because it's throwing lights everywhere it's throwing light uh, to the left to the right it's throwing lights up down it's throwing light back inside of the headlight it's probably even throwing some parts of this light it's probably even throwing light back inside of the vehicle or throwing back uh, up to your windshield and areas like that okay when this light is in proper functioning or with a proper headlight um, restoration or from the factory or whatever the light just goes straight through the headlight it goes straight through and projects as far as it can all right um but that's one of the reason uh but like i said there's different kind of 2k clears okay uh different ones are worse than the other ones for headlight restoration they're remarkable products for uh, you know if you use them for what they are used for okay I always tell people all the time, man, you can't just, you know, what if mechanics uh, use that method that some of these headlight restorers use? Oh, man, there's, there's, uh, you know, 1,500 different, you know, engine oils that you can use out there. But you got some fucking mechanics out there that are saying, oh, shit, man, I use Crisco. No, 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 I use, I use canola extra virgin olive oil or some shit you know i use i use cooking oil in the cars and, and then you know guess what you can drive around like that too but sooner or later your car is going to explode right it's not the it's not the right uh tool for the job it's not the right product for the job and then they just be looking at you stupid like why would you do that there's 1500 products out there for that so why would you not use the product made for it there's no excuse absolutely no excuse people are using these people are uneducated that are doing headlight restoration they don't even know what optical transparency is they have they don't even understand the concept they're just putting anything on look i make headlight clear and it's like you know and it could be potentially dangerous for the driver and it can be potentially dangerous for their investment far as destroying the light in the long run or whatnot and all these other things okay there's specifically um there's specific things designed for what you use you don't use house paint to paint a car and vice versa just because it's paint right so these are the guys using this uh this ideology just because it's clear i put it on a headlight just because it's clear is it can be drastic effects you know if you're professional it can be drastic effects uh you know and it's a liability like i've always said it's a huge liability if they find out you're putting some shit on a on a headlight or on a vehicle that's not supposed to be there like you know like it's just a huge liability it's like you have um optical grade uh plexiglass how come they don't use that for a windshield I mean, you can literally put it in there and nobody would tell the difference, right? There's a reason why they don't do it, though, right? People are fucking insane by putting this shit on headlights. I don't understand it. There's literally hundreds at this point in time and growing every day. Hundreds of headlight clear coats. Thousands of headlight products, right? So why would you use something else? I mean, I just it, it, it boggles my mind. I believe it's mostly from uh, maybe 10 years ago or 20 years, 15 years ago. There was no headlight products. The, the auto industry just deemed it like, uh, it's whatever. We got all this other stuff going on. They didn't really give a shit about headlights. But now, a day, when, when people are starting to look at it, how do we expand our brand or whatever, this and that? And they're like, they come up with it and they find out that headlight is the most uh, needed thing.
thing pretty much in the auto industry, headlight restoration, okay? Um, I've done statistics just in my own area. I've done research, and guess what? About 98% of the vehicles on the road need headlight restoration. Believe it or not, statistically, 98% of the vehicles on the road, let me repeat, need headlight restoration. How many vehicles are there in the road in the, in the world? Millions. How many are there in your in your city? If you're in a if you're in a large city, millions. If you're in a small city, hundreds of thousands of headlights that need restoration or will need the headlight restoration, okay? Uh, so 98%. The other little uh, 2% is split between vehicles that are um, brand new, that's, you know, that don't need it yet, you know, but will need it, okay? 1% of that is vehicles that don't need it, but will need it because they're only brand new. They're brand new. They, they're only four years old. There's only three years old vehicles, okay? But those that 1% will need it in the end, they will need it sooner or later. The other 1% are vehicles that are like show cars or whatever. They're parked in the garage, they're pampered, they're, they're covered, they're car covered or whatever. Uh, those people will probably never need headlight restoration on those vehicles. That's a very small percentage. These are people that have like, uh, you know, certain vehicles. They have 69 Camaros that are in there in the garage, you know, and, and they have a Corvette they park in the garage and they drive on the weekend. Those are very rare people, okay? So literally 98% of vehicles in the world need headlight restoration and nobody's dealing with it nobody's doing it it's almost unheard of to find somebody who does real headlight restoration that does headlight restoration on this level that can bring your headlights back to uh you know factory performing specs or better and factory performing um uh look and better okay it's very rare okay you can throw a uh, sidebar real quick it's really windy here uh, i actually had to go out of town to do this headlight i did a bunch of other things on this vehicle a um engine bay cleaning and de restoration and detailing um i did uh some oxidation removal uh this is a like a show car it's all raced out or whatever you saw it in the beginning um i did a couple scratch removals i ordered uh some paint uh, for this vehicle, actual paint that matches the color, and I did some touch up on the bumper. Um, you know, like real touch up, like you can't even tell it was there anymore. Uh, I did some scratch removals along the side of the vehicle where the handles were, whatnot. Did a couple things on this vehicle, okay? I was out here for about five hours, but it was really windy and it was really freaking cold, okay? Because it was like new development, you know, new development, don't have fucking trees. That was the biggest tree on the block. That's why I wanted to show you all the other trees were like half that size but anyhow so back to what i was saying 98 percent of the you know the vehicles in the world need headlight restoration and there's nobody to deal with it there's there's only a few people it's it's such an understaffed thing and that's uh people are always like oh man you could give away all your secrets and shit and it's like i don't operate like that man fuck that let's give it away there's you know what i'm saying what it would it's a needle in a haystack to find a headlight restore on my level or on this level okay uh, it's it's a big uh, capital venture because there's just no there's just, it's just not out there. You can throw a rock in either direction and you'll hit 27 uh, uh, detailers. You'll hit 37 places you know that'll wash your car that'll do other shit right. You can throw a rock. You can throw 10 rocks in in either direction and you might you might hit a headlight restore that actually does headlight restoration on a high level like this. It's extremely rare, all right? But this is changing. This is going to change. And it's actually a safety thing, so I don't mind being a pioneer of safety. I don't, I don't, you know, giving it away. I mean, shit, what am I going to do? Like, that's like saying, uh, you know, give it away houses. You know how many houses and places there are to live in the world? I can't give away enough, right? <laughs> so it's like, all I need is one, right? Um, but anyhow, um, now I'm going to issue a couple challenges here. If you don't believe me that it's that bad, 
I challenge you to just go out a week, go out a day when you're driving to the store, when you're driving home, when you're taking the bus, when you're doing whatever you're doing, whatever you do, how you get around. One of the days that you're going to be out of the house for, you know, an hour or two moving around, going different places, observe the vehicles. I have something called headlight vision. I'm just driving around and I don't even know I'm doing it, but I'm looking at this headlight, looking at that headlight. And I see one and I tell my chick, ooh, damn, I wish I could get my hands on that. She'd be like, ooh, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, like the headlight, the headlight right there. Look, look how fucked up it is. She laughs. Like, I'd be like, I really, you know, I have headlight vision. So I challenge you to just look around and see and do a master senses in your head. And you'll be like, I can't believe it. It's like every single headlight in my fucking town needs headlight restoration. And it's 98%. It means it's 98% of your town. It's 90% on your block. It's 90% where you live. 98%. Guaranteed. Okay, and it doesn't matter. And the thing with headlight restoration, it has no preference. It has no race, no creed, no... no uh, uh, social standing or nothing. It, it happens in poor neighborhoods. It happens in rich neighborhoods. Everybody needs it. Okay, so that's the first challenge. Go look at headlights. Second challenge is Google 2K Clear for headlights. Now, although you might have some stuff come up, but pay attention and look at the products. There's only going to be one that says 2K for Clear for headlights for a reason. That's why I say it's just fucking scam anyways. Um, and all the other ones, right... They're, um, they're not 2K clear, and they're not for headlights. Okay? It doesn't say that. Just because it comes up, it doesn't mean you have to see something that says 2K clear for headlights. There won't be shit that comes up for a reason, because it's not designed to be on fucking headlights. And they don't want to get sued, and they don't want any smoke with some shit like that. Somebody dies and fucking, and they lose their business because they said 2K clear is for headlights, right? It's not. But anyhow, um, I did this engine bay cleaning and detailing, um, and, uh, you know, this is one of the things I did, as I said, uh, this guy had this car all souped up, man. This thing was a work of art. It was pretty nice. Um, yeah, look at this shit. I did all this. I forgot to do a, uh, before reel, but this is what it looks like after I did it. Um, you know, really slick got in there. And, uh, like I said, in the future, maybe I might show you some, um, of my other tricks and trades for other things that I do. But believe me, I use the same principle and mindset for everything I do. Uh, this is, uh, the finished product on both sides. Uh, I did the engine bay, uh, first before the headlights. Stay tuned. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. For instance, tomorrow morning I'll get up nice and early, take a walk down over to the bank, and walk in and see, and uh, if you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your head wide open.